Now to the latest on VCU's graduation walkout. We know what happened just as Governor Glenn Youngkin began his keynote address. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug was there when it all happened. She joins us live now and Sierra, we know there was a lot of talk about this happening this week. Well, Roland, that is right. There was definitely a lot of buildup to see what was going to happen. VCU has found itself in the middle of a nationwide political conversation. The decision to invite a political figure like Governor Glenn Youngkin to speak at a non-political event like a graduation added fuel to the fire, prompting students to speak out. Caps on heads and smiles on faces. VCU graduates and their loved ones flocked to the Greater Richmond Convention Center this morning, celebrating a major milestone. But when keynote speaker Governor Glenn Youngkin took the stage, you could feel tensions rise and breaths held. We were whispering to each other like, when are we going to do it? When are we going to do it? Dr. Kay Coghill is an adjunct professor at VCU. Inside their mind, nerves racing, but also a sense of responsibility. If I didn't do this, I would be very upset with myself. Without looking back, Coghill alongside more than an estimated 100 other graduates rejected the governor's words walking out of the ceremony. When I stood up and turned around and saw all of those people standing up, I became emotional. I was overwhelmed with emotion. Protesters marching down the streets of Richmond sharing their message. This act of protest wasn't unexpected. The university's controversial selection of a prominent Republican political leader like Governor Yunkin sparked a discourse from day one. But it wasn't the only catalyst. <laughs> Students challenging a stream of recent decisions made by the university. Using its mass communication network to call the peaceful protest for ceasefire, peace in Gaza, uh, divestment by VCU, calling that a violent protest over its mass communication network is wildly inappropriate. The school's Board of Visitors also voted yesterday not to mandate racial literacy courses, crushing a long-term effort spearheaded by students and faculty. Human rights are not political. Our education should not be political. Yes. In a statement distributed prior to the ceremony, VCU leaders emphasized that disruptions would not be tolerated. VCU asks us to care for our community, to be part of our community, and that's exactly what the students did here today. A VCU spokesperson emphasized that the school has had other political figures speak at graduation ceremonies in the past without issue. Now there was heightened police presence outside of the building, but they didn't appear to have any interaction with the protesters. Live tonight, Sierra Krug with 8 News.